and welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing as well as possible. For today's video, we're going to be doing a distance Reiki session here for releasing tension. This could be physical tension, energetic tension, emotional tension. So, if you're new here, welcome. I am a Reiki master practitioner. I love ASMR, and I think the two pair really well together. So, I like to conduct these little sessions for the community, and I really hope that you find some relaxation and you get something out of them. <laughs> That's my intention here. So I'm going to start by lighting this candle and setting, setting our intention for this session. If you'd like to participate a little bit further, kind of a little bit deeper in the session, then you can always light a candle along with me or use stones, crystals, any of the tools that we're using here, okay? It's up to you though, you can just sit back, relax, and take some time for yourself here. So on behalf of your highest, wisest, most empowered and aligned self, in loving comfort and perfect balance, I wish to conduct this distance Reiki session for releasing any tension in your physical body, any emotional energetic tension, just clearing and cleansing to create space for something new, something free, for a beautiful sense of flow. place this right here just before you so that it can flicker and hopefully provide you with some additional relaxation. We're now going to light a little bit of sage off of our candle if I'm able and we'll do a little bit of clearing with some smoke. I have some sage in the garden that's ready to be harvested and I was thinking about doing a little video here making a sage bundle because this one is really old and very um, tight so it's been a little finicky There we go. So taking the sage and just moving it through your etheric field. 
clearing any surface gunk, surface tension that needs to be clear, that needs some attention. This is a great time for you to take a few deep rejuvenating breaths. If you almost want to imagine that this smoke is moving in to your body as you inhale and swirling around and clearing any points of tension within your body as well and then you can release exhaling imagining the smoke to come out having done its job having cleared any of those blocked areas within you I'm just going to move this a bit through the space if there was anything that kind of came out any energies that are swirling around here just want to clear the space How are you feeling today? How are you doing? Thank you. Doing really, really well. So before we light some incense and draw the sacred symbols, I'm going to use a little bit of spray. For this, we have a little bit of sage and a little bit of tea tree. So my intention is for this to be additionally clearing and also to kind of invite in a freshness. With that tea tree, I love using tea tree for rejuvenation, fresh starts, that kind of energy. And then sage, the essential oil is similar properties to the sage that we burned about clearing, cleansing, cleansing the energy. Take a few deep rejuvenating breaths for me, okay? Try your best to just arrive here. I would like to invite in now some compassionate observation of your experience. If you're open to it. Compassionate observation. Compassionate observation. Just some gentle awareness. What am I feeling? What am I experiencing? A little bit of a body scan. Asking yourself where you're holding tension. Where am I holding tension in my physical body? Where am I holding tension in my emotional body? Just checking in with yourself because you deserve that kind of attention. Is there a place where you're noticing there's a little bit more tension? You're holding something, maybe? In your throat? 
I have some kind of stressful things happening in my life and so sometimes I really recognize that one of the places where I, my tension really comes out is I get my skin likes to tell me about it. I have like eczema and things like that. <laughs> really fun. And so that can be that kind of inflammation and things like that can be blockages as well, energetic blockages. So it's just about if you're experiencing an external stressor, it's a really important time as your physical body. Sometimes you are, and you know, your energetic body is starting to communicate to you with tightness in the shoulders, maybe tightness in the throat. Maybe your skin even is starting to say, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, we need some attention here. <laughs> That's uh, just an important part of this little scan that we're doing, bringing awareness. The idea of holistic healing, you know, one aspect that I really love about it is just that it's a beautiful opportunity for the individual to connect with what's kind of going on for you, connecting on that, connecting Tracking behaviors and patterns and things. Oh, whenever I get stressed, I get some, some eczema. <laughs> okay. Thanks for the info. <laughs> and then how can I move through that stress? Sometimes we can't prevent the stressors from coming in, right? But... And sometimes the stress or the things that are causing stress are great, wonderful things, but you know, how can we stay regulated within ourselves? We talked about this a little bit in our emotional regulation video from last week. Maybe that was last week. <laughs> Spraying here to your right, okay, my dear. Spring here to your left, to your left. Down at your feet. And above your beautiful head. For that, just allowing it to cascade down, cascading down, filling up your aura. Gorgeous. Cleansing the space, cleansing the room, cleansing my hands. To further help you release any tension. Okay, but first I'm going to light a little bit of incense and we're going to draw the sacred Reiki symbols about a foot away from your heart center. I'm just lighting this incense off of our candle. Staying away from your physical body, you're safe. 
You have your space. Your boundaries are respected here. And now, preserving the intention that we have set with that flame, we're now going to move through with the smoke and clear anything that's not in service of that intention. The stone I'd like to start with is an indigo gabbro. So I like to use this indigo gabbro wand for the pulling and plucking. You've been here for a, a little bit. <laughs> then you'll probably be familiar with this little stone that I use fairly often when we're doing these kinds of negativity removal or release, releasing kind of videos, clearing, deeper clearing videos, and. This indigo gabbro wand I love to use for just we did some kind of superficial clearing with that smoke, and now we're doing some deeper clearing. So If you are, have been here for a while, I'd love to hear, I'd love to hear kind of when you subscribe to my channel or when you, how long you've been watching my videos, I'd love to know. It would be kind of fun. <laughs> so, let's begin here in the mental plane, okay? So the idea here is that we are using this indigo gabbro to extract and then we're pulling any of that negativity out, that tension, and casting it into the flame, fire, and a lot of our different elements can transmute and transform energy air, you know, wind is a great way of kind of recycling energy, water, fire. So we use, you know, with air we use smoke. So it can just be a great, great way of transmuting and transforming that energy. And indigo gabbro is great for kind of pulling things to the surface that you might not have been aware of. So after we do this, maybe you'll have some dreams. Just take note of them, maybe. These things are there underneath what you may be experiencing. If you are, if you do have some 
strings and so just being conscious of what might come up taking some stock of that, some inventory in the next little while might be really helpful just pulling out any tension pulling any tension out of here pulling any tension Moving you sort of to the throat here, staying far, about that far away from your body. Just pulling out any tension from the space. Really trying to make sure that we're going as deep as possible. Clearing any tension. Clearing and cleansing. Clearing. Pulling, pulling out any tension. Moving through the shoulder area. Moving any tension here. Any physical tension, emotional tension. Physical tension in the shoulders, you know, holding that stress here, allowing it to kind of build up in the shoulder area. Just an invitation to release here. And then any emotional energy in the shoulders, synergy that can be stored here from an emotional perspective could be burdens. Whether you are holding a lot of burdens or you feel like you're carrying a very heavy load maybe you feel like you have the weight of the world on your shoulders or whether you feel like you're a burden to somebody else you're pulling that out we don't need that energy now Moving into the chest, a lot of people hold tension in the chest area, still staying a few feet away from your body throughout this session. A few inches, a few feet, be pretty far. We can hold tension in our chests, right? There's feels like there's a tightness in your chest. I'm moving into the solar plexus. Solar plexus. Removing any tension here. Tension, tightness. Removing any of that. Just as a reminder of what we're doing. Moving into the sacral, sacral, two to three fingers beneath the belly button, removing any tension in the lower belly. Removing tension in the arms, hands. Removing tension, releasing tension, making space, making space, removing from the roots, the bowl at the base of your torso, base chakra, releasing, removing, clearing.
just running this indigo gabbro over my flame, clearing it in this flame. Spraying in the air. I'm now going to use two different stones. This black kyanite and this Montana agate. And for this, I'm gonna just kind of comb through, comb through. This is Montana agate, is this little kind of slab. And it's thin and wide and very smooth. Then we have this kyanite wing. Such a pretty stone. Looks very Game of Thrones. So I'm gonna just comb these through, comb through, comb through, comb through, comb, 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 releasing any tension here in the face, neck, neck, jaw, mouth, releasing any tension, releasing this Montana agate I love for just sort of wafting something away, wafting it away. And then this black kyanite you can use to waft as well since it's sort of like a feather. Or you could use this to pull, pull, pull. It's like a vacuum. Black kyanite really extracts, pulls negative energy, kind of like selenite. Slightly different from the indigo gabbro because black kyanite can be used for superficial clearing as well as deeper clearing. Whereas the indigo gabbro is more about kind of those, from my perspective, those uh, sort of those things that you might in the subconscious that you might not want to take a look at. They're there, but we need to shed light on them, kind of thing. Black kyanite is more just kind of general clearing, clearing, clearing. Clearing that tension, releasing that tension. Clearing, releasing, clearing, releasing. Clearing, releasing, clearing, Now I'd like to use a smoky quartz. It's a beautiful black smoky quartz. I'd like to use this to just move down through your chakras and do one last round here of some clearing. Clearing and cleansing, balancing and aligning. Smoky quartz is great for balance. 
Balancing the upper chakras with the lower chakras above and below. Providing a deep sense of balance here. Really? Okay. I'm going to use this owl rattle to further break up any areas of tension and Night some clearing into the space. Starting at the ground. Just flipping your aura so that you have a nice, beautiful, protected, comfortable, thick point aura. So hopefully, at the very least, this brings some relaxation to you in the moment. And maybe some awareness as you move through the, your day, your night. What's going on in my physical body? Is there any area that I can release? Any area of tension that I can attend to? Attending to our tension. And then this energetic work that we're sending here in a distance capacity. That's the kind of deeper healing. I'd love to know how you're feeling now. Do you feel any different from the beginning of the end of the session? You are divine. You are connected. You are expressive. You are loved. You are strong. You are creative and you are emotionally balanced. You are safe. You are safe. Thank you so much for being here and for hanging out until the end. I'm really happy. If you are hanging out, so maybe um, leave leave a little comment saying "Black Night." <laughs> thank you, thank you. And until I see you again, be so well. trying to do it like a piano. I wish to call in guidance from these cards. I love 
metallic sounds. There's like clicky clacky sounds. But it does have kind of a funny smell. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, when I first used it, I was like, oh, what is that? But, but invite some more mindfulness and some of this energy work that we've been 